Ah, so many people worked up over chromosomes. So, I've got sort of a broad question just to ask and kind of, I don't have a definitive answer for, so I'm kind of gonna, at least not at my starting point, I'm gonna kind of work it through, talk it through with you folks and we'll see where we end up. How long should the doctor stay a woman? Now, a couple of points of clarification for what it is I'm asking here. I'm not saying, I'm not asking how long should Jodie Whittaker play the doctor. Jodie Whittaker is going to play the doctor for however long she plays the doctor. At this point, I expect three years. That's been the, or you know, three series, however many years that ends up being, but because three series has become standard. Um, but what I mean is, should the next doctor after her be a woman or be a man again or actually that's not even really the question i'm asking i'm not i'm not sure i want to come down on the question of should or shouldn't but i do kind of want to look at the question of what will it mean if it's another woman or if it's a man and this is a question that i kind of wish i didn't have to ask because i don't like how politicized Doctor Who and Doctor Who fandom has become, but the simple truth is that that's happened. Whether I like it or not, almost everything the show does is put into a political context, whether it is intended to be by the makers or not. And the makers themselves, at least of the current, you know, the current um, creative team behind it, have been up front with some intent to cover political topics and touch on political things in the show. So, and, and but again, even that's not as excessively new. The show's been political in the past. I've talked about that before. But overall, like, I, I, I want to I want to talk this out because it's in my head. And unfortunately, we're in a situation where either option is going to have knock on effects and it's going to upset somebody. Um, but then again, the state of Dr. Fandom right now is such that almost anything they do is going to upset somebody. So the the first thing I would say is the fear of upsetting or pleasing any specific stripe of fan should not be driving the decision to cast a man or a woman, I don't believe, personally, because, like I said, at this point, things have become so divided that you're gonna tick off somebody, so you might as well do the decision that you feel the most confident in, in terms of casting and, and creativity, because, you know, if you're trying to if you're trying to please the fans well, the fans are already fighting amongst themselves in terms of what they want, so you, that's not gonna work. Um, yeah, and that's not to say you should go out of your way to antagonize fans, but when you try and please a fan base, especially a fan base that isn't particularly unified, you're just gonna end up compromising whatever it is you do. But we're kind of looking at one of two situations. So like, just let's just talk broadly here. If after Jodie Whittaker leaves, the doctor is again a woman, there is going to be a stripe of fan who is going to be upset by that and continue to howl agenda pushing, who are going to say you're just keeping it a woman to please or, you know, to satisfy whatever agenda or fans that you were pandering to before, um, so on and so forth. So basically, the if, if uh, the next doctor were to also be a woman, at least initially, barring a change in creative team and overall approach, because I'd like to think that if we, if we, if and when we eventually get a new showrunner and a new sort of mentality behind the show that comes with a new showrunner, that people who haven't liked Chibnall's run will give it another shot 
even if they cast a woman again. I'd like to think that. I don't know how true it is, though. But the people who are upset on the basis of the doctor should never be a woman will just continue to be upset. And so you won't regain that, but like that's an audience that's already, or at least they claim to already not be watching the show. Yeah, at the same time, like I said, like, is it overly antagonizing? I don't know. The flip side, and I think potentially more damaging ultimately, if a man is cast immediately after Jody Whitaker, I really do worry that that is going to get read as, well, it's going to be read as a weird victory um, by some fans and others like the show is admitting defeat on some things. And again, I don't feel that that should be the case, but that is how some people are going to react to it. Um, if it goes that way. And it's, I, I, I don't envy, whether it ends up being Chris Chibnall or uh, somebody else, whoever has to make the decision of who to cast the, ne the next Doctor, I do not envy them that position at all. Because they are, they are literally going to be in a no-win scenario, as far as the fandom is concerned. Because... Like I said, it's so split and it's and it's so hostile that and that's the thing. Like fan bases are always fan bases are never unified about what they want, what they like, what's the best stuff. But it's become so angry that whatever side you don't please is now up in arms about it as opposed to just going that wasn't what I wanted. And, you know, just not watching. It's not enough to just not watch anymore. I don't know what should happen because there's, again, taking whoever the potential casting is out of the equation because, like, hypothetically, I don't know who, but hypothetically, maybe there is a casting that is so loved that it won't matter. I don't know who that would be. But, I mean, not that I think any of this is realistic, all right? I may eventually do a video on people who I think would be good people to play the doctors, but I'm not doing that now. But, like, if they, if they cast, I don't know, Idris Elba, Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy. If they cast, like, somebody that got everybody excited just by, oh my god, that person, holy cow! Um, heck, Emma Thompson, you know, uh, Helen Mirren, whole. Oh, like, I feel like short of casting names like that, whatever happens is going to end up dividing the fan base. I do think that casting like that might be the only way to minimize fallout that is otherwise going to happen regardless of whether the next Doctor is a man or a woman. But I can't... Um, I can't hold out hope that they would do that kind of casting. Not that any of the people I named are, like, too good for TV... Um, because especially in Britain, there you get a lot more of um, of film stars appearing uh, in television shows over there. Um, I mean, heck, Idris Elba just did another series of Luther, but at the same time, even that, it's usually shorter six episodes to a series, a series whenever we get around to it type shows like Luther, like Sherlock, and for something that is traditionally and kind of expected to be released on more like an annual schedule, that's already been thrown off, but you know what I'm saying. We don't get the same level of, of actors in to play 
the the leads in 13 episodes a year plus massive publicity for the same thing. It basically means that this is the only thing they're going to be doing for however long they do it. Um, and I don't see any of those, any of the names of that size being willing to do that. Um, and short of a name like that, I just don't know. It depresses me to think that no matter what, somebody's going to be angry. And again, while I accept you can't please everybody, it just bums me out to know that this anger and these fights and the mudslinging and the name calling isn't going to change when the next casting happens, no matter what, it's not going to change. And I am ending up on a much more depressed note than I thought I would when I set out to do this video. If I were to make for myself an ultimate conclusion, short of getting, you know, a, a, a performer, an actor, for the role who is so universally good that everybody, it silences everybody short of that. I think one more series, or sorry, one more uh, incarnation as a woman um, will be the better way to go before um, opening up to go back to a male doctor. And I say that because I don't like the idea that the female doctor becomes regarded as either a novelty or a mistake. You know, a thing that we don't, we, we're not going to go back and do again. And like, and, and even if people do feel that it was a mistake, again, ideally not on the basis of just because it's a woman, but if people do feel that, you know, this was a mistake, whether it's the writing or that Jodie Whittaker wasn't up to the task or whatever else, I get that. But I, it doesn't sit right with me personally, the idea that the notion of ever expanding out the Doctor casting-wise gets looked at as a fluke. Like, I, I just don't like the idea of that. And that's not me saying, like, it can never be a white man again. No, of course I'm not saying that. And and I'm not. I'm also not going to pitch a fit if after Whitaker they cast a guy, a white guy, any guy. Like, I'll be as open to it as I always am, which is skeptically <laughs> as a rule of thumb. But, you know, I just... Talking just completely broad strokes, talking philosophically, I feel like whatever was meant to be accomplished by having a woman, any woman, play the doctor gets potentially buried if immediately after it goes back to a man again because then maybe it stays that forever and it's just a weird blip on the radar. And if if this, w it, I was going to say, if this was going to happen, it has happened. And having now cast a woman doctor, I'd like that to mean something. And I think possibly to ensure that it does mean anything, we might need one more woman after Whitaker. And again, that's talking broad philosophical. Oh, God, the comment section on this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? <sighs> don't know why I still try sometimes. I'm going to stop here because, like I said, I'm, I'm getting more bummed out thinking about all the fallout that's going to happen to the casting, whatever it is, whenever it happens, and to this video, whenever I release it. <sighs> I just want us to have fun again. Can we do that? 
please. Doctor Who, future casting. Please, please, don't leave me with a hundred comments that automatically get flagged because of the names that people get called. Okay, just please be respectful within those parameters, whatever your thoughts are. Drop something down in the comments, let's talk about it. Whatever your thoughts are, just keep them respectful. And there's a whole bunch of links down there too. Um, one to my Patreon, of course I have one of those, it helps. Um, there's a P.O. box, there's a bunch of other stuff. Check it out if you want to, if you don't, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you're the council, I just run the meetings. And until next time, this council is adjourned.